Have you identified an executive sponsor? Now, I can't tell you how many times I've talked to customers that are doing a cloud project uh, in a void. There's really no executive sponsorship. The business really didn't mandate it. They're just doing cloud. And this reminds me a lot of, of when IT tried to do BCDR projects. BCDR projects back in the day, and still today actually, that, if, that are not backed by the business, that are not business driven, will always fail. Uh, for a simple reason, how do you determine RTOs and RPOs? Those have to come from the business. Now we can, you can, we can make a guess, right? We can decide what each application's RTO or RPO is, but this should really be driven by the business, which is why it's important to have a business impact analysis that is not generated by IT. A BIA is not an IT function. It is something that the business does that IT can be part of and can get the key metrics that it needs from. But a BIA is important the same way a BCDR project failed when IT drove it. Cloud projects will also fail if IT is driving them without uh, any reason, right? So when, I, when I'm talking to customers, the first question I have when they talk to me about cloud projects is, what's your business driver? And business drivers have to be a lot more than scalability and agility and some of these buzzwords of why we're going to cloud. There really has to be there really has to be meat behind the cloud strategy. And the only way you're going to get that is if you find an executive sponsor that is able to tell you, that is willing to tell you where this organization is going to go from a business perspective in the next five years. What you don't want to do is seek an executive sponsor and then try to lead them to where you want them to go. So don't find an executive sponsor or don't sit with executives and talk to them about cloud. They don't care in most cases, they won't understand what you're saying. Instead, flip the script, sit with executives and you're gonna have to sit with a lot of them until you find an executive sponsor and let them tell you where the business is going. Don't talk tech, just let them tell you where this business is going in the next five years. For example, if I'm a car manufacturer, I might be interested in deploying sensors everywhere in the car because I'm trying to figure out how to do self-driving. Maybe I'm trying to figure out how to self-park the car. Maybe it's a blind spot, whatever it is. But let them talk to us about where they're taking the business. Take that information and then translate it into tech. If they talk about sensors and it's a driving car or it's a car, then immediately in my brain, well, I need to be as close as possible to all of these cars in order to ingest data in real time, be able to process it and potentially have triggers that go out. So in my mind, that automatically takes me to cloud. These are the types of translations that you will have to make, but let them talk to you about the business so that you can truly extract business value. That is the importance of identifying a, an executive sponsor.